Hi, welcome to this SQL Server video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect and import data stored in Excel to SQL Server. Before we do that, however, I'm going to encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Therefore, let's get started. Before we take a glance at the data we import from Excel, let me make sense of what you are seeing at the moment. This is what's called Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, and we have our new query. We have these four system databases, and this is our personal database. Now, when I click on this expandable plus icon, and I do the same thing for the tables, we discover that we do not have any data. Therefore, let's head over to Excel to see the data we want import. In Excel, we have this transfer to data format of an Excel table, and we have 10,000 of records. Let's head over to SQL Server to get this into this transaction data database. To do that, I'm going to right click on the database, and I choose task, and I click on import data. Now, I need to connect to the data source, which is Excel, and also choose the destination, which is going to be SQL Server Native Client 11.0. So, my data source, all to that arrow key, and I select Excel, and we need to browse through the Excel file path. So, I'm going to browse, and then click on this new transaction data. Let's look at open. For the version, I'm going to go with the Excel 2016 because that's what will work. Actually, the data was stored in Excel for M365. So the closest version to open it is the Excel 2016. I click on that. And of course, the first row of my Excel data contains the headers. And therefore, first row has column names. It's in fact accurate. So I click on next. And then we need to choose the destination. So my destination, as I've said, I'm going to choose SQL Server Native Client 11. And everything is looking good. I click on next. And I click on next. So I need to choose the particular data, which is this particular one. Check the box. I can even import multiple. Okay, so you can even preview the data to be sure that's exactly what you want to import. If you are good to go, click OK and click on Next. And I click on Next one more time and finish performing operation. The execution was successful. No error, not any warning. So finally, I close this import and export wizard. Now, we're not going to see the data right away because we haven't refreshed the database after we perform the steps. So therefore, we need to refresh. So I just right click on the transaction data database and I choose refresh. So when I click on the expandable button for the tables, then we'll be able to see our data. Can you see it right here? So let me just modify this. I don't want the dollar sign, just rename. I'm going to get the dollar sign and I hit enter. So let's write a simple select statement to get that is to retrieve the data. So let's come to our new query. Let's say select all from dbo.data and the tab key then you can deploy alt f5 on the keyboard and that delivered all the data so you can actually go through the data everything is looking good okay now this is essentially how we connect and input data start connection i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please again hit the subscribe button and because it's the notification bell share subscribe and comment in the section below because there is a lot of video coming on the SQL Server and Sports, including Excel, Tableau, and Power BI. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.